Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Bailey and I'm the owner of Goo Goo Goods. This video is gonna be a craft fair vlog and I have three markets this weekend. I have one tonight, Friday, which is the first Friday at Baldwin Park Community Market. I have one tomorrow at the Oviedo Mall that's called the Winterfest with the Christ Awakening Church. And then I have one on Sunday called Light Up Soto with the City of Orlando. So let's just go ahead and jump to Ethan packing the car. If only I could finish something Run straight through to the end Close a chapter dignified Dang girl you did it again But will it ever be enough When I'm bent on trying to keep it tough Will I ever settle down so I'm on my way over to my first market today and right now it's like 2.51 and I thought I would just like tell you a little bit more about the markets that I'm doing today, tomorrow, and Sunday. And the reason I'm doing it while driving is because I meant to leave like a couple minutes ago so that I'd have time like in the car to like talk about it before I got over there. But I was just like chilling and hanging out and didn't like leave the house in time. So it's like 2.52 right now and my setup window is 3 to 3.30 I think and I'm pretty close by so I'm gonna definitely make it um, in that window. But today's market is called the Baldwin Park like first Friday and basically it's just like a community market. I mean I think pretty much like all markets are community markets but this is like in this little area called Baldwin Park and it's in orlando and it's kind of like a it's like a really nice kind of like upscale neighborhood and it's like right in the middle of like kind of the city center of it i think they call it like town center or something and it's basically this like road that has like a bunch of shopping things and restaurants and stuff like that um so historically speaking i've done okay but not great at them but i'm in a different area of it than i have been previously like previously i have been in like this area that's like in front of the cigar bar and it does not smell very good i don't know if that's been keeping me from making as many sales um so i'm like on the opposite side of the cigar bar today like on the other side of the street so maybe that'll change how my situation goes so i'm a little bit nervous and i'm a little bit disappointed because i had the opportunity to do art after dark again and i did art after dark last week and that was really good for me so you know what are you gonna do but tomorrow my event is at the oviedo mall and it's with a church and it's called like the like winter fest or whatever something like that and i think that's going to be good i think that's going to be a really big one because i was looking at the map and they're going to have like climbing walls they're going to have like a petting zoo i think they're going to have like fire trucks and police cars and like stuff like that so i think that they're planning on having like a really big turnout because i couldn't imagine them like forking over all that cash for you know nobody to come so on this road it's like really bumpy so i'm very interested to see how that turns out obviously i've never done that event before because it's like a christmas fest with like a church and they actually reached out to me and asked me like if i wanted to do it like a couple months ago so i'm very i'm very intrigued and on their map they actually don't have like the names of the businesses that are going to be vending there they just have like the names of the people who own the businesses so i didn't recognize anyone's name that i recall so i don't know who else is going to be there but it's also very close to my house so i think that's going to be good and i think it's like at like a time where it's at a time and a place where like if ethan wanted to bring our kids he could oh, i'm about to do some merging techniques um so that might be good and then on sunday the event that i'm doing is called light up soto and it's hosted by the city of orlando but it's done through the people who do milk mart i think and milk mart is an event that i've been trying to get into for forever i like apply to like all of them and i've never been accepted to them but i was accepted to this event and i don't know i don't know why exactly i've not been accepted to milk mart I, I think like they're more a little bit like based on like who I've talked to and like who's in it 
they seem like they only really accept kind of more like alternative stuff like like silly like art and kind of like more more intense stuff than my stuff um because like you know i consider myself a cool person but i guess i'm not like that hip and my stuff is just kind of like stuff that you know I kind of basic I guess basic but cute which I mean I guess that's me I guess I'm basic and cute but I'm very intrigued that's also gonna be kind of like a kid like a kid friendly event because I'm gonna be in this area based on the map where it's like a kid zone I don't know what that's gonna entail but I think it's gonna entail something to do with um, mr. and mrs. Claus of the Santa variety I'm at a red light now so I can talk to you a little more directly but I think that that's going to be good and I hope so. My goal for tonight is to make $200 because that's kind of around what I typically make here. I guess my big, big goal would be $500. My big goal for this weekend is $1,000, which should be, I mean, if I'm having three events, if I don't make $1,000, that is going to be really disappointing. So I definitely think that that's going to be my goal. So I hope tonight is good. And once again, like night markets, I don't do as well at, so hopefully this breaks the spell but i did do good at the art after art night market so i'm very interested the weather's good my car says 85 it doesn't feel like it's 85 but it's definitely going to be a nice not as hot night and yeah so i will check in when i get over there and i'll show you setup i have to put my lights on today so i have to actually like take my tent open it take the top off and then put my lights on and then the tent and i hope that the top of my tent is dry because it was raining when i put it up at the last market at whimsy last week so and my tent does not dry super well so i hope it's i hope it's dry so yeah so i'll check in when i get over there and i'll show you how to put the lights on again because people people love the lights i love the lights too and people are always asking me how to put them on so i will show you when i get over there so I probably should have taken my tent out and let it dry since it did get a little wet last week because unfortunately the cover was wet and a little bit gross. So I ended up laying it out and considered not putting it on. But then I decided that putting it on would maybe like make it dry out faster and I didn't really have anywhere else to put it to let it dry because someone was supposed to be set up next to me. So I ended up laying it out and letting it dry a little bit while I put my lights on. But yeah, here's how I put my lights on. For this type of tent, I just tie one corner of the light to one corner and then I go to the other one and tie it and then I gather them all together as neatly as possible and I just pull it over the top making sure to not snag it on anything because these are pretty delicate so you don't want them to grab or snag. So then once I do that, I just tie them to the other corners and then I just put the like the top cover on and you're good to go.
I'm here with this voiceover right now because I actually uploaded this and apparently you could hear a song behind me when I was talking that I didn't even hear when I was listening back to me talking. So I had to cancel my scheduled upload, do this voiceover, and then upload it again. So that's a little bit frustrating, but here you can see I'm all set up and ready to go. I feel like I wasn't being super efficient when setting up and I even forgot a hook. So I needed Ethan to come back and bring me that hook for the grid wall. But here I'm showing that one of my bungees, the rubber cover came off and I couldn't find it and storing it together with the banner possibly like put a little hole in my banner. But now let's go on a little booth tour. Here we've got my little checkout stand and I have my manatee pullover on my mannequin. Here's my little cute little ceramic pink Christmas tree. And then we move on to my manatee pullover, my Florida Sunshine Club, my Rudolph and Clarice sweatshirts, looking cute. And then we have my youth mom tattoo sweatshirts, they're right there. And then I've got all of my Christmas stuff on that one, except for uh, the Rudolph one, because I thought that it would be in a better spot being right there behind the two most popular ones. Then I've got my little shelf here with my kid Rudolph and then I've also got like my youth Rudolph and just some other kid stuff and mom related things on this shelf right here. And then this has all of my Christmas sweatshirts except for the Rudolph one. So I've got my Mary Everything and all of those good ones. And then I have some of my totes on this one and then just other like various sweatshirts that don't um, have holiday themes and aren't like my most popular. Here I was gesturing to the fact that I like my shelf being in this corner and not in that corner because I feel like the flow of traffic is like you come and you start on the left side and go around as opposed to going in and going towards the back right corner. So I liked it over there because I thought the flow of traffic would make that more easily accessible than if I wanted to put it on the other side if that makes sense. And this is the new rug I got. I have to figure out a good way to make it lay flat so it's not a tripping hazard, but I think it turned out super cute. Originally, I ordered like a four by six pink rug and when it was delivered, they accidentally sent me a yellow one that was labeled yellow. So I guess like the sticker was just wrong. But yeah, I think it looks really cute. And this is a five by eight, not four by six. I don't know why I thought it was earlier than it was, but I actually have like 20 minutes before it starts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to price tag all the things that don't have price tags. And I think for like a lot of things, I'm not gonna actually like use my like tagging gun or actually hook it. I'm just gonna put like the price dot like on the thing. Um, I'm gonna price the holiday stuff a little bit lower than I typically would just cause like I want it to like sell. Oh, he's trying to FaceTime me, hold on. Okay, back to it. So it was kind of funny, it was when I was setting up, this like group of like teen girls came in and they went, oh my gosh, and they're like really, really into it, and it was really cute. And like, we should all get matching sweatshirts. So that was kind of funny. So I hope that tonight goes good. It definitely, it was a lot warmer and a little bit muggier than I thought it was gonna be, but you know, it is what it is, but I'm really, really excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and tag stuff and I will check in as soon as it starts. I don't wanna jinx it, but we are two minutes in and I'm at $90. I turned my lights on we're all good to go but when um, I was like setting up I sold one of the Rudolphs and I'm trying to think what size medium so I'm officially sold out of medium Rudolphs and I sold one of these guys and a tumbler so okay okay me slay so I got to replace that tumbler yeah so I will check in at 6 30 because that'll be an hour so yeah okay okay Christmas apparel <laughs> check-in and we're actually doing like pretty awesome we're at 310 right now which is like Wah. I'm very surprised because a lot of people are saying that it's dead and I think that I have gotten pretty lucky in terms of I um, 
like I'm in front of the gymnastics and I had a big group of girls come in that like got a lot of good stuff and then I've had a lot of mom apparel so actually so I sold what's well, really annoying is I don't know I must have forgotten like a box or something like that because I can't find any of my two tees of the mom and I thought I made another three tee of the mom sweatshirt so I sold one so I don't have an extra three or I don't have a two tee so it's like that's kind of annoying that I can't find those but I sold one of those in a Rudolph kid shirt um, but kind of on like a womp womp note I forgot that like I made on the sign that the embroidered sweatshirts were like two for 50 and I sold some and so I forgot to like take it off and so like the person like came back and like was like oh like asked about it and like I, for some reason in my Shopify POS I couldn't like get the refund button to work so I just had to do like a return and so I, I returned one thing that cost $30 and like she was gonna like pay me the $10 difference or whatever um, but like her husband walked off so I just ended up being like oh like you know it's okay so like I really should have had like 340 but it's okay we still have like three hours left so I'm gonna say that my goal for tonight I'm gonna go high I'm gonna do 500 if I made 500 I would be very pleasantly pleased but I've had a lot of good like a lot of good people coming in here and like looking at stuff and saying they like it so yeah I sold more of the holiday stuff than I was thinking so I'm really happy about that I may try to tomorrow I'm probably not gonna have enough time to do this but I'm gonna try to make more of the Rudolph adult sweatshirts because I don't know it may be even Rudolph kids shirts I don't know I'll just have to see but I will check in later in my last craft fair vlog I mentioned that I was gonna talk about something in the car and I forgot to talk about it I was saying this a minute I was going to do in my art of dark market and then I chickened out and the thing I was talking about was tipping so I saw this TikTok of this girl saying that you should turn on tips for craft fairs and events and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, you know, I understand. Like, I totally think you should do that. And I talked to my friend Maggie, who's another vendor, and she said that she did that for one event and she did a really good with the tipping. And I was like, I definitely get it. I definitely understand because, you know, like, we're coming out here and we're bringing the products to people and we're doing a service and you've got, you know, we put a lot into it, obviously. So I was like, I'm going to do that. I'm going to turn tipping on. And so I did, and I had it on, and whenever I would start to check out, I like check it out. I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ask these people about, I'm not gonna do the tipping screen or whatever. And so for three people, I just kept like, I just said no tip. I like had it myself, I didn't, I never handed the phone over to them. And then I just ended up turning tipping off because I was too nervous. So let me know you guys' thoughts on that, because I know it, it makes it a little bit awkward for both parties, but maybe for some people it's not. I don't know, but yeah, it's still going good so far, so I will still check in at the next check-in. 7.30 check-in, so we've kind of lost our momentum there, and we're still at 3.10, so it's been very slow the past hour. Not very many people. I've probably seen maybe like five or six groups of people, maybe. Um, so yeah, so it's a little bit disappointing, but we still have two hours, and so uh, yeah, my goal is still 400. So that's just a couple more sales, so hopefully in the next two hours we have some people coming yeah not looking too good so far but i'm glad that we had that big spurt at the beginning because that would have been very disappointing but yeah i will check in in the next hour 8 30 check in and we're gonna be together at 380 right now um i think in that last hour i sold a hat and a manatee pan club shirt so that's pretty good i still am trying to make the 400 so i only need to sell like one more little thing to make that so hopefully this next hour we get some more traffic because yeah there ain't nobody out here um, so all of those sales have been kind of like really random. But yeah, I hope to make the 400. That'd be a really, really good start to this weekend. So I will check in. I might not check in until I'm back at the car. Okay, I'll see you when I see you. Just one road to take It's growing up over with green So easy to drive on But not what it seems The poison is spilling upstream And it's taking out Every living thing So 
I'm about to leave to go to my second market of the weekend at the Oviedo Mall. And setup begins at 10 and it's like 9.52 right now. And it said it takes me 17 minutes to get there. So I meant to leave a little bit earlier. But I actually wanted to make some cookies in the air fryer this morning. And I thought they weren't done. I added like two extra minutes and they burnt. And I really wanted a cookie before I left. So I had to like remake them. It was a whole thing. But last night I ended up doing pretty good. I ended up the day with like, let's see here with like 380 and so that's really really good i didn't hit that 400 goal but i was really really close to it and the booth fee for the baldwin park markets is like 45 dollars so that's pretty good so that's definitely a good chunk of the a thousand dollar weekend goal so i have really high hopes for today's market since it's going to be at the mall and it's going to be kind of like a big event as opposed to kind of just like a normal market it's like a bunch of things going on so i definitely hope today goes good but I remade a Rudolph sweatshirt this morning. I didn't get time to make too many. So I made another one um, in like a large because I sold a large last night. And I don't remember the other size that I sold. So I have that one extra. So I've got three of the adult Rudolph sweatshirts. And depending on how many I sell today, I may or may not make more of them. But I'm happy with the amount of Christmas stuff I sold yesterday. So I don't want to remake. I don't want to make like a ton of rudolph stuff though they did sell pretty good last night but i don't want to like be hanging out with a bunch of rudolph stuff after like the christmas season so i'm gonna head over there and i will check in and show you my setup who told you that you were no good there's no use in trying different today than yesterday is I added I forgot to bring these yesterday my little Florida t-shirts so those are there oh let me take that out of there and I need to go through and kind of like see what sizes I have of some of the things because I just sold a few of those a while ago I guess yesterday and I actually sold one this morning um, to another vendor just a second ago so I need to see what sizes I need of that and I need to make another medium, I think, of the adult Rudolph. But yeah, it's looking really good. I have high hopes. It's definitely a much warmer day than I thought it was going to be, but there are a ton of people here, like from the church and stuff like that. So I have high hopes. I wish I could take a break and go over there and climb that rock climbing wall. Me and Ethan used to be really into doing stuff like that. I like an actual like rock climbing gym though. I used to be really into that. And then I got pregnant, so I couldn't do that anymore. Actually, I'll have to tell you a funny story about how um, when we first found out I was pregnant, we went bouldering and I like fell and I was like, <gasps> I thought something bad had happened, but obviously I was fine. But yeah, so I will check in in just a little bit and tell you how kind of like the traffic is looking here. I think it is starting to pick up. There's like a bunch of people sitting in chairs over here. I'll show you. I don't know exactly what that's about, but I guess I'll find out because right now it's only. Oh, we just have one more minute until it starts. So once it starts, I guess maybe I'll find out what they're doing over there. My goal that I'm gonna set for myself today is $400. And so I think that's definitely possible. So if I made it last night, I could hopefully make it today. And yeah, so $400 and let's get started on that now.
o'clock check-in and we're at around $80. So not bad. We still have like four more hours left or something like that. So I got high hopes. They've been doing like a lot of like performances. And I think the next performance is coming up now. So I think that like in the beginning there was a lot of people watching the performances so they weren't really walking around. But we're definitely having a lot more walking and traffic. So yeah, so I will check in at two. Two o'clock check-in and it's really bright outside so I put on my sunglasses and it's not doing super great. I think I'm like at 103 is what I saw the last time I checked, I think. 107, oh, so more than I thought. So I'm at 107 right now. We still have three hours, so I'm hoping that it starts to pick up. Yeah, there's just not too, too many people. And yeah, there's a lot going on, so hopefully more people kind of come out later in the day. I don't know, like, I don't know. I think there's also like a lot of stuff going on at Oviedo today. So yeah, I will check in later, but so far it's not looking super good. 3 o'clock check-in and we're at 2.40 right now, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, we still have two hours. I debated like putting you guys up like in a corner and like showing you the people walking around, but there's not really anyone walking around, so that would probably be some pretty boring footage. But we still have two hours. It's very hot. It's very, very humid. So that's kind of a little bit of a bummer. But yeah, I'm just chilling over here and looking at TikTok and hanging out. So hopefully, I mean, I still have two hours, so I have two hours to make 160. I think it's possible, maybe. I don't know. I've sold a lot of tumblers today, which is good. Um, I've had a lot of people look at the hats, but no one pulling the trigger on a hat. But yeah, so I will check in at 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock check-ins. So we're actually doing really, really good. We're at 480 right now, so I passed my $400 goal, so that's really awesome. So now my new goal is 500 um, And so that would make my total for this weekend so far 860 So if my full goal was like 1000 then I definitely think I'm going to hit that. But I thought I would tell you a really silly story of what just happened a second ago. So we are at like a church sponsored event. So it's very, very like family oriented and like religious and like a bunch of obviously like churchy stuff. And um, they had this like band go up, like a new like kid band and it's called like School of Rock and it was like a bunch of teens and stuff like that. And they started playing music and I was like, I know this song. I was like, what is this song called again? It was Killing in the Name of by Rage Against the Machine and they went for it and I think they did maybe like a minute of the song and I think the organizer was like, and like shut it down. So yeah, that was really, really funny because like why, why would they think that that was, that that was the move for this event? Because I took down my tote bag that said I'll take them deviled in reference to the deviled eggs because I thought maybe that would be inappropriate. So yeah, that was like really, really funny. I also didn't wear my guillotine earrings so I thought maybe like, maybe they wouldn't be down for that. But yeah, that was really funny. up and ready to go and thankfully there's some people here from the church that were volunteering like help people like break down and pack their cars so I was able to get packed up pretty quickly so I ended up today at $522 and so that's really good and my booth fee for this is only like $35 so that's definitely a good margin for me and I, it's kind of interesting I would say it went better and worse than I was expecting so it, it went worse in terms of like the amount of people that were here because and even like the people who were here like from the church said it was a lower turnout than they were expecting i was thinking that maybe i'd have like an a thousand dollar day so that would have been really really cool but definitely at the beginning i thought that it was going to be a total total wash and really i made a lot of money from the person in the booth next to me um her mom like bought like a lot of stuff for me so that was really really good i liked that but yeah it, 
I definitely thought there were gonna be more people here than there was, and I think they thought that too. But 522 is nothing to scoff at. But yeah, so let me think. So 522 plus yesterday, I made like 380. So right now I'm at nine of two for the weekend, which is really awesome. And I hope tomorrow I do good too. I was kind of looking at the map and I guess I'm slightly nervous because I do have kid stuff, but I also have adult stuff. But I was kind of looking at the map and I'm in the kid area, which is good. But also it's kind of like, I feel like I'm around like the face painter and then maybe like a balloon thing and kind of just like like all like kid related activities so i'm like a little bit nervous that like people aren't going to come over there if like they just think it's all kid stuff so like my adult sweatshirts i'm like a little bit nervous that that's not going to work out but i'll have to see i mean i mean i don't know until i get there i don't know like how close together everything is so i don't know if people can like see my stuff from kind of like where the main action is so I'm very interested to see how that turns out. And I think that also might be a reason why I've not gotten into Milk Mart is cause like they see Goo Goo Goods and then I, I guess like I'm kind of like in a transitional of like, I guess like a transitional branding because I kind of want to move away from the baby and me kind of logo to just like the one that's just like the colors because I do have kid stuff, but I also don't just have kid stuff. Um, so like I'm kind of trying to be away from that. So I'm fearful that maybe that I'm not been getting into Milk Mart because she thinks I'm like only kid stuff. So maybe when she sees me at uh, Light Up Soto tomorrow, maybe Ashley will like see that I have more than just like diaper bags. So maybe doing tomorrow will help me just also like in general for future Milk Mart events because I would really like to do one and I feel like everyone around me is always getting in and I never get in. Um, but maybe she just doesn't like my stuff. I don't know. But yeah, I am so pleased. So I only have to make $98 tomorrow to meet my $1,000 goal. And that would be so good. Okay, so I am gonna go home and see my family. It's only 5.45, so I'll get to have a good bit of time with them before it's time for them to go to bed. My load on time for tomorrow is actually like 12. I thought it was way earlier. I don't know why. It starts at two and it goes till six. So it's a little bit later than I thought. I'm like all confused with like, I've got too much on my schedule. I need to actually like, put these events in my calendar on my phone because I actually have a paper planner. So I don't actually know what I have unless I look at my paper planner and I did previously take a picture of the planner but I can't find it on my phone. So yeah, I need to do better about putting the events in my phone. I also don't know if I mentioned this but I have another event coming up on next Sunday that I originally didn't have on the calendar and I thought I didn't get in. Maybe I already mentioned this. Um, I didn't get, I thought I didn't get in, but then they like, sent an email on like Tuesday and they were like, oh, look, you're in, so pay by tomorrow. So I was like, oh. So it's kind of like last minute um, situation. So I don't know if I've talked about that, but I'll go over it again like tomorrow or maybe in next week's vlog. But yeah, I am very excited and I'm gonna go home and I'll check in tomorrow when I go. Sunday so I'm about to leave the house and go to my third and final market of the weekend and it's called light up soto and it's with the city of Orlando and it's gonna be in the soto district and that's about like 20 ish minutes away from me and well technically I think it's like the soto shopping center so it's where the super target is and like TJ Maxx and like other stores and restaurants and stuff like that so my load in time starts at 12 and it's 1139 so I am right on time and then the event starts at 2 so I'm gonna have like you know, two hours to set up. So I think that's really good. I brought some more of the cream tumblers. I brought like seven of them since I sold out of, I think I brought five yesterday. I think I brought five, but I sold out of all the ones that I brought yesterday. So I wanted to make sure that I had enough for today just in case. So I'm very, I'm very excited and I'm very interested to see how today turns out. So I will take you over there and we'll set up and get started.
setup and once again very similar setup to what I usually do but I feel like I set up pretty quick today and I'm pretty happy about that it's actually 152 and I actually already made two sales um, I'll tell you about that in just a little bit but yeah I am all set up I definitely wish I was a little bit more on the other side it feels like it's like way more bumping on that side down there but maybe that's just like people going to target i don't know but here let me talk to you a couple of things the parking garage that i had to park in it's really close by but it was like straight out of a horror movie the lights were flickering it was crazy it was dark the lights were flickering and then when i got to like the bottom of the stairs the lights were like really like flickery and it was like dark and it's like one corner and i didn't want to look but i turned around and i was like Ugh. and i looked and there was nothing there but it was very very terrifying But yeah, I went ahead and I sold two of the Welcome to Florida sunshine tape. So, yeah, that's pretty good. I wish I had more of the manatees, but you know, it's good that I don't have the small and the medium because of me, I did sell them, but I wish that my restock was going to be here sooner. But yeah, but I'm going to go ahead and get started and I will check in a little bit. Later. 
This is random and unrelated to anything, and I'm gonna try to make this quick because it's actually pretty busy. But the Alani girls just came over here, and this is like a energy drink. I've never actually had one before, but she was just like giving them out and like taking pictures of vendors with them and stuff like that. But I already drank my Red Bull, but. This is pretty good. This is a blue raspberry one, but I was comparing it. So in this Red Bull, there is 80 milligrams of caffeine. That's what that says. But this has 200. So I'm gonna drink it kind of slow because I don't think I have any underlying health issues that would cause me to have a really bad reaction if I drank too much caffeine. Also in my water bottle, I also have caffeinated water because um, I have like the little squirty thingies from Aldi. But yeah, so I'm gonna drink that slowly because I don't want to die, but it's pretty good and I like a free perk. I do like that. Also, the kid bounce houses, it's feral. It's feral over there. I thought about having Ethan bring the boys over when they got up from nap, but I don't know if Arlo and Atticus would like. I think they're too small. I think there's too many big kids and there's a lot of like chaos over there. So, for their safety, ew. Three o'clock check in, and we're doing okay. We're at $90, which is good, but definitely a lot lower than what I was expecting or anticipating. There are a ton of people, but once again, I think it's like where I am, people like don't even like look in, they just walk by or they go to the Pilates girls, spin the wheel, get their prize, and then they walk out and just like are focused on what they got at the Pilates, so they don't even like look over here. So it's a little bit disappointing. So I'm hoping that it definitely like goes up, but yeah. So I will check in later. I'll put you up in the corner so you can see people walking around. I'm probably not gonna put you in the booth just because I'm not having like that crazy of traffic. Maybe if it picks up later I will, but I'll go ahead and put you in and let you see kind of like what's going on here. You must think that I'm a restless case because I ran away, because I ran away. If you listen to the words I say, you know that I'm okay. is the current situation of everything so it's not too bad just some of the shirts on the like one side of them are wet and the hats are wet so yeah I just thought put them back out and hopefully the heat of the day and the Sun will come out will dry them so yeah very upsetting four o'clock check-in and it's definitely been a whole ordeal so like all of my clothes got like soaked and all my hats. So I was able to replace my hats and put new hats out there and I'm just hoping that the clothes dry. Um, my like little thing in the corner is good. It didn't get wet. But like the, it's not that like it got, it didn't rain on them like super hard but when I put them like back out like where water gets pulled like on my tent canopy it just like pulled and then released it all like on the clothes. So really frustrating um, and I had a lady buy a tumbler and she walked away and she came back like while I'm like actively like in crisis mode like trying to do this she was like um these aren't leak proof and I don't mean to be like making fun of her but like she was like really really mean she was like this isn't leak proof and she like had she had it like liquid in it she like dumped it out and she was like my daughter wanted to get one too but we don't want this I want a refund so, so yeah so I was already down and she kicked me when I was down so that was 
great. I was like, okay, like, you know, like, no problem, that's fine. She was like, yeah, and I've already put my mouth on that, so. And I was like, okay, like, I'm not gonna, like, put it out. Like, okay, whatever, but that was really upsetting, but I'm actually doing pretty good money-wise. <laughs> Um, so even with the return, I'm like at like 197. So we have two hours left. Hopefully no more rain. There's a huge line for the um, face painting. So hopefully that means some more people with kids start filtering in. But yeah, I am not in the best mood right now and that was a lot. Okay, so I'll check in later and hopefully I've got better news. Five o'clock check-in and we're at like 2.51, which is obviously like, you know, nothing to scoff at, but I definitely thought that it was gonna be like way but it's been really, really rainy and just like, I don't know, the vibes are definitely just like off on this side. And so I'm just like a little bit, I'm just a little bit frustrated and I'm a little bit down because like, yeah, I am not in the area where vendors are. So yeah, so I'm like a little bit disappointed and upset. And just, I don't know, this has just not been very good for me. So that's how it's going. And for a long period of time, in the last hour, I had a group of like moms with like the dad kids like all standing like in front of my booth like in front of the grid wall like kind of like blocking the entrance and like blocking everything so like for a good 20 minutes I just kind of like, stood there and so that was a little frustrating so yeah we've got one more hour so hopefully I would like to make 400 but I don't know as you can probably tell I am not in my car doing my check-in I am in my home on my couch and the reason for that is something very tragic happened while I was packing up and it's pretty crazy and I like was kind of emotional about it. I was probably more emotional than I needed to be about it at the time. But um, while I was packing up and loading my car, another vendor didn't see my trailer hitch and she had a really big car and she ran over my cargo carrier on the back of my car and broke it in half. So if you saw Ethan pack up the car, if you've been around here, if you're new, I can't come home if I don't have that. If I don't have like the cargo carrier on the back of the car, I can't. I can't come home because I can't bring home all my stuff. So I was like kind of like an emotional hot mess because the day had been kind of like rough for me. So I was like full, full waterfall of tears coming out because I was like so worried. I was like, how am I going to get my stuff home? I can't have Ethan come help me because first of all, I have too much stuff. So like I couldn't even like. Even if Ethan like came, we wouldn't be able to put it in the car. But if I wanted Ethan to come, he would have to wake our boys up and like bring them. And it would have been like a whole thing. But thankfully, like, you know, the vendor was like super duper nice and like super like apologetic about it. I mean, I wasn't even like, I wasn't mad at her. I was worried that it was going to like break her wheel and possibly break my car. But it, everything was fine. My car is fine. It just like broke the cargo thing. It just broke the bolts and like bent it in half. Um, but her car must be really, really strong. Her tires must be really, really good because I don't know how they didn't like pop. Um, so her, I don't know if it's her husband or, or her business partner. I don't know. He brought home the rest of my bins and some other stuff to help me. And she said she's going to get me a new one and a replacement of mine. So I sent her a link to that. So I trust her. I think she's going to do it. But I do need it by Wednesday because I have an event on Wednesday. Either it's Wednesday or Thursday. I don't remember, but. Either way, it needs to be here in a couple days. So hopefully it can get to me in time. So that was really, really stressful. And I was just worried. I was worried about the car. And I was worried about her car. So that was really upsetting. But kind of like on a good note, um, for today, I ended the day with $403. So I hit my goal at $400. So that's really, really good. And in total for this weekend, I think... It's around $1,306 total, which is so good. My goal was for $1,000 this weekend, so I'm very, very happy with that number. Um, I have, like, all of my clothes out on a table right now drying. I won't show you because it looks way too tragic, but I have all my clothes because of the rain, like, you know, how they got, like, really, really wet. Also, a good lesson to always bring my side panels. So I've got all that stuff drying and I'm so happy that it ended up going okay. But yeah, definitely I think that my placement at this like craft fair, I guess it's not even really a craft fair. It's just like an event put on by the city that has like vendors and like people do face painting and hair stuff and the bounce houses and like the wine walk and stuff like that. I think like my location definitely, definitely hurt me and I just... I don't know like what I could have done differently to like make it clear that I'm not just like like a kid 
like a kid activity almost. Like I, I feel like some of the things I've been at, they think I'm not like a like a boutique that has like a bunch of stuff. They think I'm just like kid exclusive. Um, and that's kind of like, I'm kind of trying to maybe possibly like move away from my current logo that has the baby in it. Because I mean like it is mommy and me products. And I did start out mostly pushing like the diaper bags and like the mom sweatshirts and stuff like that. But now I'll have like kind of transitioned into more, more my own like my own boutique kind of situation. I think I need to move away from that because I think it is confusing and and I still like the name Goo Goo Goods. I think that that's good, but I, I don't know. I am thinking possibly like moving forward, maybe changing it away from Goo Goo Goods, just because I feel like with the logo and the Goo Goo Goods, I feel like it, it, it definitely calls. Like I want to be like a mommy and me, like boutique, because I want to have like you know, kid stuff and like mom stuff. Because I do, I do still like that. I do want to carry that, and I do think that's important. That's important to me as a mother to have like a brand that represents like me and like what I would want as a mom but I think that maybe Goo Goo Goods and the logo is kind of like holding me back from like maybe doing events that like I want to do because I do think I really want to do Milk Mart and I think they think I'm exclusively baby stuff and I was talking to like one of like the organizer people about it and like she was like oh like you know I, I've seen you apply but you know we like we already have like one baby person blah 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 and I was like well she she did acknowledge that um that I was more than just like a baby thing. So I'm very, very happy with how this weekend went. I've got three markets coming up next week and then I have three markets coming up the week after that. So I'm pretty packed and pretty booked up until it's time to like go visit my family in North Carolina. So if you liked this video and you enjoyed me having a crazy weekend and please be sure to like it and subscribe for more of it. Um, yeah, so next week is going to be another craft fair vlog and craft fair prep vlog. So I'll be interested to see what I get into this week because I don't know. I, I want to make some more Rudolph sweatshirts. Um, so I think I need to do that. But once again, I'm always hesitant to make more Christmas stuff. But I did sell a Rudolph sweatshirt today. So maybe I'll just like you know, always replace the one I sold. And I would like to do some scrunchie making. So yeah, so I have like couple things that I would like to get into and hopefully I get some more of my expensive and difficult tumblers because I ran out of those and the mama tumbler so the expensive and difficult and the mama should be coming together and hopefully they get here this week I don't know my tracking information hasn't updated or anything like that so it's not here yet but yeah so that is all and I hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one talk to you later Shadows of this quiet town